All right, guys. It's time for some education here. That Mr. 4K teacher educate some of you out there. And there's never a shortage of happy fanboys out there who don't even care, who don't even want to learn about anything. And they sure as hell and they're going to do their research and go to the digital foundry and learn how this process is being done, on how rendering is being done how they measure dynamic resolution versus native resolution, which, which type of a method are they using to render the games, to keep the games running at that 4K. You know, there's a lot of people out there who have no idea. They just heard about the 4K, they buying the 4K, and they think they know everything there is to know about the Xbox. And Listen, guys, I spent four years just learning about this shit. For some of you who can't seem to learn this shit, let me educate you. And what am I talking about here? I'll tell you exactly what I'm talking about. There's idiots out there. I'm going to call them idiots because that's what they are. You earn the title of being an idiot because you fail to educate yourself, to learn about how this works. There's people out there. They see a pre-order for Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, they scroll down. They scroll down, and like a happy fanboys that they are, they look and see this. Oh, look, it says HDR10. Oh, look, it says 4K Ultra HD. Oh, look, it says Xbox One X Enhanced. Just because it says 4K Ultra HD, it doesn't mean that automatically it's going to run in native 4K. It means that it supports 4K. But what type of 4K? There's different types of 4K methods that are being used to be rendered. I mean, you guys watch Digital Foundry. You guys watch Richard. And he clearly explains it to you in a clear English language that everybody can understand. And you guys still can't seem to register that shit for some reason. A lot of games say 4K Ultra HD on the Xbox One X. But it doesn't mean it's running in native 4K. This is why Digital Foundry has the software and the equipment and the computers to, and the capture card to check and scale to see the rendering, which type of source resolutions are they using, okay, to achieve that 4K. And there's different types of methods. There's checkerboarding, there's dynamic resolution, there's different types of methods they're using to render that 4k so just because you see that it says 4k that doesn't mean that it's going to be running in native 4k so nothing gets set in stone we don't know the results yet we'll find out results this week from digital foundry on what type of source resolution is it running okay so all you Xbox happy fanboys out there, keep your pantyhoses on, okay? Don't get wet, all right? Most likely it's going to be running in 1900p dynamic resolution, and it's going to be scaling down to 1800 to 1700 to 1900, okay? So deal with that fact. This is a big, huge game. It's too freaking large to be running something like this in native 4K, okay? And if it's going to be running in native 4K, well, we're going to hear it first from Digital Foundry, okay? Digital Foundry hasn't posted anything officially yet. They don't know with what resolution is going to run. No one has even seen yet the Xbox One X version. They've been just showing PlayStation version, okay? But I have stupid idiots out there coming to my YouTube channel, telling me it's a native 4K. And another thing I want to talk about. All right, another thing I want to talk about. The game is going to be, the game it's 88 gigabytes. Okay, the game it's 88 gigabytes. That's just the game, 88 gigabyte, gigabytes. You're not putting stuff in consideration, the updates. Some of these updates are 2 gigabytes, 3 gigabytes, 4 gigabytes on top of the DLCs and other content that you have 
that shit adds up to 93, 94, 95, roughly 100 gigabytes. So when I say you need to have 100 gigabytes free, that's exactly what I mean, you idiot. But apparently, there's idiots out there, which doesn't surprise me. There's idiots out there on this planet, especially on the internet. God knows there's a lot of idiots floating around on the freaking internet, okay? Like a cancer just floating around the fucking internet. Look how stupid they are. So hopefully, this shit can educate you a little bit better so that way you understand something. Learn something in your life. I don't give a shit if you like me or don't like me. Learn something. Or don't. Alright guys, well there you have it. 